y'all gonna see the that can't be talked about here on YouTube. So I'm sorry. I had to meet y'all. Hey guys, good morning. Guys, Jasmine had another press conference um, by herself in the corner. She arranged the corner in her room where she typically works and put her degree and put various other certificates and other memorabilia behind her with some lights and she's going to put some vines. She's going to make it like Chrissy um, and, you know, outfit her space a little bit. Guys, she's on here to set the record straight because Chris does not live with me, guys. I don't know why you keep saying that. He doesn't live with me. Even though his hats are in my closet and I told you guys he lived with me, he doesn't live with me. I don't know why you guys keep trying to take my food stamps away, you know, because I don't need him. I don't need him. I do everything for myself. I do everything for myself and I do everything for myself. If I want him to help me, he can help, but hey, I do everything. Yeah, the sound was off because my mom had called me. She called me right when I was about to go live. And I was like, let me just talk to her real quick. So at this point in the live, um, so this is the beginning of the live. And basically, she had everybody on mute. And her entire audience, I mean, look, everybody who is on mute, it's not by mistake, guys. If you see someone who's looking at you through the camera, they see that you guys are typing 150 times, we can't hear you. Um, she was clearly on a phone call. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're going to get the likes up first before we start talking. Yeah, I was on the phone with my mom. Yeah, hit a like for your girl. Put the sound on, what the heck? I was talking to my mom about important stuff that can't be talked about here on YouTube. Mmm, so. important stuff that can't be talked about on YouTube? Is there actually such a thing, Jasmine? Jasmine, you do everything on YouTube, in, including use the toilet. Um, what possibly could you not talk about on YouTube since you talk about everything on youtube is it now that you're finally taking seriously that someone is dropping a lot of your tea and that you're looking bad out here i'm sorry i had to meet y'all hey they having a fit about no sound patience anybody right trying to read just comment yeah, um, just because these eyes are so we can talk about what's going on, like, really what's going on. Side note, since we're sitting here, <laughs> we gave Kaylin's grass a haircut today <laughs> because it was growing all over my desk. So, gave her a haircut, good little haircut for the grass, and yeah. I'm gonna start doing mukbangs, but like kind of like healthy mukbangs. My desk is amazing and it's giving me mukbang vibes. Like y'all see where y'all are. You see how we leveled up, right? Jasmine is going to start doing mukbangs in her bedroom. Okay, you got a whole kitchen, living room, and dining room, dining room table, but your desk is the best place to eat for mukbangs. Okay. And then my mom said, I'm gonna get them um, on Thanksgiving. No, the day tomorrow. Excuse me, I gotta go to her house tomorrow. I'm gonna get these little vines to go in the back. Kind of like what Chrissy got, but hers got like. Jasmine, your mother's been trying to give you those vines for a long time, trying to trying to give you something to decorate your home, but you didn't want them. But when you saw Chrissy, how Chrissy did hers, now it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do it kind of like Chrissy's. Just say you're gonna do it exactly like Chrissy's, okay? And the that's back. okay. Kind of like what Chrissy got, but hers got like, but I'm gonna get these vines to go around my pictures and stuff. Just to give it, I don't know. I saw some on Instagram that had like big uh, sunflowers in it, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna get me, I'm gonna get the ones my mom has because she has extra ones and she's been trying to give them to me. And then I wanna put them in my room too. Y'all gonna see the, yes, my degree. Okay, so maybe that's her desk area out in the living room. 
Um, but with two year olds, yeah, yeah I would put that in my bedroom. Really tricky, though. That one is, but that's okay. That's okay. But it's this one. Oh well, who cares? It's a little cricket, but I hung all this. So y'all gonna see the video. I didn't know if those were lights or a YouTube filter. Oh yeah, they're lights. So I got these from Walmart. They're battery operated. They actually have a lot of them now. I'm trying to go, oh, I cannot talk today. I'm gonna get the ones that are plugged in because they'll save me so much money. And I ain't gotta keep buying batteries, but I mean, that's fine too. I ain't tripping with buying the batteries. My degree? Kinesiology. Um, I, yeah, I majored in kinesiology. Um, I had minor in mathematics. I got the lights from Walmart. H-E-B has them for cheaper. And they have like different ones. They have like, um, cause Christmas is here. So they have a whole bunch of them. So they have like gold stars, silver stars, balls. I might go back and get, um, the balls or the stars or something. I don't know. I was thinking about getting the stars and the balls. The balls more so for not Christmas, but the stars, they're gold. And that's kind of what I'm going with. I'm gonna get that for Christmas. Yeah, I get the likes up. Um, they're, I would have to look them up and see what they're called exactly. They have them on Amazon. The ones on Amazon is the ones I'm gonna get. Um, that's the ones you plug into the wall. When you said red balls. <laughs> Target is having a 50% off sale. Check them. Really? I'm going to have to go to Target anyways down the street. I got some things I need to get. I've been trying to Christmas shop and I got a Maya's birthday present. So, Guys, we'll see if uh, Kaylin gets her vanity. We'll see. Yes, y'all get the lights up. We don't even have 100 likes. And I want to talk to y'all about some stuff. I have some videos for y'all. And I just... But I feel like I have to talk to y'all about what's going on. With a few things. You okay? You're not as perky. Um, I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. I've been up early this morning. Just I had appointments. I vlogged a little bit today. Actually, I vlogged. I vlogged my point. I vlogged today, and then also the uh, Maya and Ava from the clothing haul. And then I also took a picture of Maya to post for her birthday too. The kids are good. They didn't sleep. The girls are playing. Um, I'll show you all the kids in a minute. Am I unable to look like that? First of all, they got the same outfit on. They look so cute. I use Final Cut Pro to edit. I'm loving your hair. Thank you. Shoot, I didn't even get to do my baby hairs when I was rushing. I was trying to fix it before I got on camera. Perky, I'm just really chill right now. I, that's really what it is. I'm just chill. That is my niece's birthday, December 6th. Oh, tell your niece happy early birthday. Can we get to the topic of the live? I got to go. Oh my God, at this point, I was thinking the same thing. Can we please, can you please talk about the matter at hand? Girl, this is leading up to when she starts the worst lie session I have ever seen Jasmine engage in. Jasmine, girl, uh, Cheryl, whoever is advising you, Chris, John, y'all stop, just stop. Jasmine can't lie her way out of a paper bag. I have rarely been active on Instagram. Um, and I haven't been checking like my um, comments or whatever. Like I've been trying, yesterday I tried to get in and check the DMs or whatever. And so I just comments. So I tried to check, I got in and I was checking the comments and Plumber Flavor, Flavor, whatever, um, on Instagram has been writing lies and their way of writing lies is that they're exposing me on Instagram. They're doing like a series of exposing Jasmine's life on Instagram. And they've literally been just posting stuff. I don't, I don't have the energy to keep going back and forth and trying to entertain it. You know, they keep referring back to, you know, the other person, as you guys know, my kids, dads, other baby mama. So, you know, just looking at that, just seeing the dedication that's coming from them, it's sad. <laughs> They are continuously talking on my Instagram. It's like they're talking to themselves, like stories. But, you know, they're trying to expose me on Instagram. Like, whenever I say, like, stories, like, st stories. Sorry, Jazz, just came on what's going on. So, yeah, this person is trying to expose me. So, what I've read so far, um, I'm not going to read it all because it's just so much. They literally said that I had a child. Oh, I got pregnant at age 14 
and I got an abortion. My mom got me an abortion. And basically saying like, they're gonna tell like, who was it by and all this stuff. It's really sad, <laughs> it's really sad. So the only abortions, I've gotten abortions. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't hide anything, I don't lie to y'all. I tell y'all everything that goes on my life, damn dare. I got abortions, I told you that already. Not, I don't, I'm now 14. What, what age is that? Where was I, what grade was I in? Let's see. How old am I? Shit, we got to look. What? 14. What grade is that, y'all? 14. Grade 9. 10th grade? I don't know. So, 8th grade, 9th grade, or either 9th. My birthday's late, so. I got, I probably got an abortion in 11th grade. And of course, it was with my kid's dad, 11th grade. You know, even if this is trying to come out, we were, I was freshly, you know, getting out of my comfort. You know, we were, we were finally, you know, having sex. Got abortion. I didn't know that was bad. I don't care who's leaking dumb information, but I was still a virgin then. It took a while for me to start doing things, okay? I didn't do shit. I literally stayed in my own little bubble and played basketball. So with that said, I feel like this person is trying to make up these lies to try to get attention. The attention is coming from, because they're like, oh my God, you talked about his baby mama. Girl, I don't give, whoever you are, I don't care about her. I don't care about what she got going on on her, in on her page, her life. I don't care. You know, I, I don't, what's the lie? The lie is that I wasn't, I didn't get no damn abortion at age 14. Like, where? I didn't, like, I was so focused on basketball. Like, that was the least of my worries at the time, at that age. And they just think that, Getting on here on my Instagram and keeps on all these lies is just gonna prove something. Like, you know, I told myself I wasn't gonna address any more drama, but I feel like I have to sometimes, given that some people are like, What? You know, what's she did? What? You know, people that actually watch or support her, is what she said. And, you know, they seem confused. And I feel like I have to get on here and clear that confusion up sometimes. Two more years will make a difference. Um, it does make a difference if you wasn't having sex then. And it's not, and I, I don't care. You bring up abortion on my Instagram because of what? I was young. I was still in high school. I was getting ready to go to college at that time. It doesn't even matter if I had an abortion or not. Because at the end of the day, I still had all my kids. I still have all of them. They're here. That's all that matters. I was a damn kid then. Didn't really know what I was doing, what was going and where, whatever. I don't get why it even matters. And they're like, well, you know, you're, we're going to your information and stuff that you don't want nobody to know i don't know then you know i seen on another actor's channel they were talking about i'm not all the place i'm just remembering everything that's coming to me um someone is trying to call uh the food stamp office on me and ccms on me <sighs> so annoying i guess the food stamp office because they're like she um she doesn't report her earnings and uh, like i said in my previous video they literally although i had to renew my stamps they literally told me randomly can you send over all your earnings so i was just like i already started peeping things that people were trying to portray that i don't report my earnings and i'm like sure whatever because they said that i own my mom's channel and all this stuff and you know the jazz and chris channel it's all going to like i don't even get we don't even get paid over there and like my channel this channel is this <laughs> i report every dime and little that people know is that i made the most i want to say my birthday money I, and that's the month that I had to report. So yeah, I had to explain. People were like, oh, you need to also, you don't include Super Chats, that's a lie. I, I include everything. And it's to a point that they, I have to break it all the way down to them. Literally, I have to print, I have to print out a paper, not print, back to, I have to type up like a whole breakdown, just explaining how much I made and what I made, just because I want to prove to them that I'm not lying. I Super Chats, um, um, PayPal, like when I do promo, like shout outs, um, um people were saying like birthday money i even put that on there and i let them know this was the month of my birthday so i did get some people gifted me birthday money at a uh, cash app whatever you want to call it let them know and gave them a screenshot of all my bills all my bills and you know what's so funny my have as much money as i pay it doesn't technically I, I pay more than what i make sometimes some day some months i pay more but because of who i am and how i move all my bills are always paid and it was like, well, you know, we were reporting your food stamps. I don't want you, um, you, you living off my tax money. First of all, obviously, I, I qualify for it. Obviously, I qualify for it. I qualify for every dime that I get. Now, I don't get a lot. <laughs> it ain't like I'm getting a lot like I used to whenever I didn't make, well, I made like a little bit, but 
And yes, that too. You pay taxes too. Thank you. The little people that people know is that I'm partnered with a company on my channel. I'm partnered with a company. So it doesn't, it, they pull this money. They, they get their percentage for real. I could be making, making way more money, but because I'm partnered with them, they pull a lot. Okay. Don't they take taxes? Yes, they do. They take taxes out of my YouTube chat. I, like I said, I don't, I get paid from a company. Like people think that I get paid directly from YouTube and I don't. Then the thing, wait, the thing is they take cents to put towards food stamps. And then not only that, you guys, like I, food stamps is only there to help you, you know, I don't even know. Cause it's not like I'm getting paid a lot and I'm still coming out of my pocket. Like I'm already out food stamps. I mean, it's, I've been out for a week now. It's 24th. I don't get food stamps till next month, almost a weekend. Oh no, a whole weekend, a whole week and a half. So I come out of pocket too. Like people forget that. Why is it my, why is it because they feel like they have to be inserted into my life? Get out of the contract with the company. I thought about it. I'm not even gonna lie. I just gotta figure out how, how to do it. If I do that, then I will make more money and I probably won't even need assistance. Like for real, cause they take a chunk of my money. And you know, at first I was, I was, I stuck with them because how it works is that like, mm. Like my music, I don't have to pay for that because I'm partnered with them. But then I'm like, damn, I'm paying for the music on my other channel. Hey, Chrissy. Jazz, you don't have to explain. People are looking for that. Yeah, I mean, I'm here to explain, to, to clear it up. Maybe it'll make them feel better. It'll help them out. I don't know. Yes, thank you, Jen. Tell me the light. Most of us are jealous of those that are that get assist, that get assistance, and that's sad because there's a lot of people that get assistance in the world. I'm not the only one. I guess because I am a public figure, they met. I wish they had YouTube channels when I was young. My 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 boo, if you're gonna be messy, at least make it make sense. Who? Do you ain't nobody damn business right? Jazz, you're glowing. Thank you. They're going to think what they want. If you explain, it's not fucking right. I mean, I'm just explaining, but at the end of the day, they're going to be like, she's a liar. She's a liar. I don't care. And like these reactors get on YouTube thinking that they know my life. They, they're like, oh my God, I know this is true. This is true. I don't care what nobody's saying. I just like, really? Like, really? I don't know what that is. Y'all can go on Instagram. It's on the, you can see it. Go follow me on Instagram if you're not following me. It's on my post. People are feeding the kids. They literally was like, they don't want to see me feed the kids. They don't, or they don't want to see, they don't want to see me eat. I'm just like, that, it's not about me. It's about my children. <laughs> You're taking food, trying to take food from. Somebody called me a liar. I tell them, they made me a liar. <laughs> Explaining because it's just, well, just going to make up shit and think what they want to think. That is true. I feel like I'm wasting my time, but I was like, I'm just going to get on here and just, Speak it. Shit. I'm tired of people just saying all this drama. This is lying. How can you just say fuck someone's innocent ass, innocent kids? Look, that's how they feel. And that's one thing I'm seeing. I hope Chris is helping financially. Chris does not stay here. I have he's here a lot, but he does not stay here. So if he wants to help, I don't mind. You know, when he does help, when he pays, uh, if I need him to pay something, even though I stand, I've been standing on my own two feet for three years. At the end of the day, my bills are going to get paid. My bills are already paid. I'm a person that likes to pay stuff early. I pay my bills early. Sponsors, I use that and pay my bills early sometimes. Let me just say that. When I say he helps, helps finance, just say that. That's like if he comes and he's cooking or, you know, he'll buy food because I pay my bills. I'm a grown ass woman. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Okay, guys. Um, in all of this, what Jasmine doesn't seem to understand, or is very skilled at trying to confuse the audience, is that we're not talking about if you can stand on your own two feet. You're already getting public assistance, so you are getting assistance. You are getting help. You. You may be standing on your own two feet, but with the help of the government. And because of that, and because there are questions whether you have reported all of your income and are fleecing your local government's funds and really 
kind of fudging on your eligibility in front of the wrong people, which is your audience, they have now thrown you under the bus. Do you get it? It's not about whether you can support yourself Clearly, if you're saying you can support yourself, then why are you getting food stamps? And if you can't support yourself, what they're saying is, and they're calling you out for, is that you've got a whole man living there. And because you've told everyone your business, they want to know, is he contributing? The assumption is he's not. Therefore, they have reported you for fraud for food stamps. It's not about you supporting yourself. It's about you supporting yourself on government benefits and clearly out here living like you don't, but you do. You forgot you told everyone. And now that you're moving on in life with a man, you oops forgot to report him. So now you're backpedaling that he doesn't live with you, but he does. And girl, you, I mean, nobody believes you. No one believes you. There no more. Like, I don't need to rely on a man to pay my, I've been there. I've been there. I relied on a man to help me pay my bills. And if I needed help, he's always said, if you need help paying for something, let me know. I don't ask for money like that. I don't need help. I stand on my own two feet. I've been doing it this long. Like I tell, I tell him and like, fuck what they got to say. They can sit here and talk mess and be like, oh, you know, he's not helping her financially, not knowing that he works. And I see so many comments, it's like, people don't put two and two together. Like, oh, he wears the same red shirt. I've seen that several times. First of all, <laughs> I don't vlog every day. If you catch the vlog vibes, my all my kids are at home nine times out of 10. I vlog on the weekends, most of the time, or Friday. He can help with the light bills to help you. Well, light bill, that come out of my account directly. I, I take care of my shit. That is direct, that's, I have direct deposit. Uh, direct what is it draft whatever fuck it's called they pull that out okay so I, nobody gotta touch it it just pulled out whether it's there or whether it's not it pulled it out gas i pay that i pay that early i pay that damn near a whole month early sometimes because it's so low water water is connected to the, the shit i feel like whenever he say we get a place together which was something we've been talking about then i will understand when y'all what y'all are saying he needs to pay this or pay that we already got an understanding with that I thought, oh shit, I thought my thing was broke. I'm tripping, I'm seeing things. But this is my home. This is my place. I take care of what's here at my house. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna change what's going on financially in my house because I'm in a relationship with somebody. Now, if we're in a relationship, living together and all that stuff, that's different. Yeah, we talk about all this stuff, moving forward, you know, getting married, all that stuff, but we're not there yet. When we're there yet and we're taking steps, then I will understand, okay, you need to pay this or pay that. You know what I'm saying? I understand where y'all coming from. But me being who I am and where I've been. Let me see. I just got back. I was changing the baby. Whatever. Okay. Me being who I am and who, how I moved and how, what I've been through, I'm not going to sit here and do that again. You know? Um, before YouTube, I was working a regular nine to five here and there. Before I got put on bed rest and all that stuff. I kind of relied on my kid's dad. You know, whenever he was working, if he was like, oh, he had a job, work at Taco Bell, he did studies, I relied on him. I relied on him a lot because that's what he put in my head to do was, you know, I want you to be the stay-at-home mom. And that's where I decided to do YouTube. Oh, shit. I thought I fucked this up. That's where I just, oh, shit. That's where I decided to do YouTube. And, you know, he was like, you can be a stay-at-home mom and take care of what's at home. That's what I did. But then, like, now I just, then you got to worry about all kind of stuff like, um, you know, I, I just can't do it. You just say that. Okay. Guys, I like taking as you mind. see, Jasmine is really concerned. And I would be too, because if this is how you pay your bills and you know that you've got a guy living there, he's not on the lease, he's not part of your income, you know you've been lying, you know that he can't probably afford to help you as much as you may need for him to, and it's going to affect your income. I mean, Jasmine... It doesn't take rocket science to figure this out. You've been on YouTube long enough and have heard enough stories. There's just some stuff you need to keep your mouth shut about. And that's on period. Because I've seen mommies out here uh, get messed up. I mean, I just have in the in the past, I don't know, year 
uh, there were a couple of people who were on here and people started messing with them and benefits um, changed, I guess. I don't know. But the, the word was, was that, you know, people called and tried to mess with their lives. And I know one person specifically said messed with their food stamps, but it was okay because they were going to handle it or, or whatever. And, and, and they got themselves up off of YouTube. If they're out here, they're not in this community anymore. So I don't really know what's going on with that. But Jasmine, I think that you made a very big mistake underestimating that you have you you do have people out here who are checking for you and people who are concerned about your kids i.e the people that call uh cps on you you've got people that are um maybe maybe envious or um whatever about your lifestyle why i would not know but you know you get you stay at home but stay at home is not a big deal anymore because everybody's staying at home um who has a job that is stay at home obviously there are some jobs that are not stay at home but a lot of people have been able to get that stay at home life okay so you're not the only one um i'm just saying this jasmine before you get on live, uh, you need to have some definite points of what you think you want to talk about and stick with a script because, girl, you really have a hard time of saying what is appropriate and what also needs to be said. You say way too much and all it does is give people further ammunition to come for you. Obviously, um, you know, look, you know what's happened in the past few weeks, what you've said, what you've done, what you've exposed, and how you're looking out here. Yeah, I would suggest don't make it that long before you make it over to Instagram to check comments, or you might want to turn your comments over there too. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment down below. Let's get the conversation going. Tell me what you thought of this live. Was it um, just another backpedal session? Was it just a straight up lie session? Is it Chris, aka John, leaving her out to um, you know bear the brunt of just one F up after another since they've moved in together? Uh, what, what is really going on here? Is the couple's channel going to make it? Is Jasmine going to make it? So guys, we'll talk about all of that, but let me know what you think down below. Okay. Like comment, subscribe and share. I will see you in the next video. Bye.